to be honest with you. I was kind of focused on like the baby and the baby itself. Minute after minute of chest compressions to bring this baby boy back to life after he overdosed on fentanyl. Welcome to Week News at 5. I'm Lois Tomey. I'm Chris Safadi. Fort Myers police are giving us new details tonight about this case. Week News reporter Jolena Esperto joins us live from Fort Myers police headquarters tonight. Jolena, how did the baby get into the fentanyl? So, Chris, it is unclear if this baby was exposed to fentanyl directly from his mother or from somewhere inside her home. Now, the only reason he was at his mother's house, according to the police report, is because his father went to visit his mother and brought him along. But investigators do believe his mother to be the blame for the exposure. And you can see her on that body cam video. She is frantically crying as she's watching her son lying on top of the car and not moving or breathing at all. These three Fort Myers police officers and the 911 operator raced against the clock. He's breathing, he's breathing. Bringing a six month old boy back to life. They're coming as fast as they can. With two finger chest compressions. These two officers were doing CPR and nothing was coming up like if it was choking on something. So it kind of started falling into place of what was going on. Um, after, you know, getting him getting some breaths in, after they continued. And then we started clicking between each other what was going on. We kind of had to, you know, zone in on, on doing our jobs and stuff like that. But it was it was amazing to to see what we did afterwards, you know, have it all click at the end. But how exactly did a baby only six months old overdose on fentanyl? He fell asleep and he started getting really congested. And I was like, this is strange. Fort Myers police officers say the baby was placed on a countertop in his car seat inside his mother, Mary Sinopoli's home. Then she laid the child down on a comforter on the floor. That's when she noticed her six month old son struggling to breathe. They gave him Narcan because we didn't know what was going on with him. We didn't know if he was choking. We didn't know if it was lips. We didn't know why we were doing CPR. We just knew we had to do it. How did you find him? He was laying on the ground. He had brought him over um, and he was just laying on my carpet. The baby's mother later admitted to police she had used fentanyl powder the day before in her home and investigators found fentanyl powder on her countertops. In the video that they posted, you can hear the paramedics say he has a pulse. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, like, I got my goosebumps. And again, investigators believe the baby's mother is solely to blame for the fentanyl exposure. Now, a judge did set her bond at $100,000, ordered her no contact with her six-month-old baby, with the baby's father, and with her other eight-year-old child as well. And according to court records, the baby's father already had full custody of this baby, in part because of her past drug use. Live in Fort Myers, Jolina Sperdo, Wink News.